Hello and welcome. I'm Willow Grace. Thank you for joining me as we take a look ahead at your astrology forecast for the month of August. Now, before we begin, if you're interested in working with me, you can uh, go to my website and uh, schedule a tarot or astrology consultation. You can also learn and participate by signing up for one of my classes and webinars. If you'd like to receive your monthly astrology update by email, this information can be found at willowgracemystic.com or you can click the link below. Thank you for following and commenting, and if you would like to receive these updates as soon as they're released, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel below. So let's dive in. Pisces, we start the month off with intense heat and unpredictable change. On August 1st, Uranus, the planet of shock and surprise, is meeting up in the sky with fiery Mars. Now, when Uranus and Mars meet up together in the sky, they tend to trigger shock and disruption for everyone. Uranus is unpredictable. It's electrifying, and Mars brings about anger and heat. Now you add in the North Node into the mix, and everything becomes intensified. The South Node is where we're comfortable, and the North Node is what we need to incorporate. So the North Node here is saying you need to head in this way to feel safe and comfortable comfortable, but it's unknown territory. This combination of planetary energy, it's fueling awakenings around your values, security, and comfort. It's going to have you wanting security of home, jobs, and relationships. Then on August 4th, Mercury, the planet of travel and communication, is going to be entering the very service-oriented sign of Virgo. Your train of thought is going to be streamlined for maximum efficiency. This is going to be a perfect time for you to get things done, to be focused and practical with your words and your ideas. It's going to be a perfect time um, for you to sign documents. It's an ideal opportunity for you to uh, work with partnerships, clients. Uh, relationships, marriages, to sign these documents together. Then on August 7th, the fiery planet of Mars is going to be squaring off with Saturn, also known as the great teacher. So this transit is going to have many people finding difficulty in self-expression. Saturn wants to restrict and limit you. You have these strong desires and these goals, but challenges are going to arise in the expression of how to attain your wants and your needs. Remember to focus on what you already have and what you've already achieved. There may also be problems with authority, so work to be humble and modest. On August 9th, Venus, the planet of material wealth, love, and beauty, is going to oppose the planet of Pluto, and Pluto is known as the Great Revealer. So with this transit, you can expect intense pressures with your closest relationships. There can be emotional pressure, drama, manipulation, power plays, or instant attraction. Sometimes pleasure and pain are intrinsically linked. Do not give your power away and expect this transformation to be reflected back to you. Then on August 11th, we're going to have two transits. The first is Venus ruling um, love and romance, moving into the fiery hot sign of Leo. Leo is passionate and adventurous. And so this time period is going to begin a beautiful phase of your life, one of seeking romance, comfort, and luxury. And for you, this is in your house of daily work, health, routines, and how do you find this balance? Uh, this is exercise. It's mental, physical, spiritual health and well-being. Now, you're also going to have this beautiful full moon in the eclectic sign of Aquarius. Now, full moons, remember, bring endings and closures, but they open the door to new beginnings. Aquarius is the 11th sign of the zodiac, and it reminds us every single person can and does have a part to play in the collective change. With the energy of Aquarius, you're going to want to embrace your individuality, your eccentricities, your minor imperfections. This will include your strengths and all to be your authentic self. So on a personal level, this full moon in energy is going to encourage you to have radical change in your life and your friendships, and it's in your 12th house. The 12th house is dreams and secrets and karma, it's hidden supports, it's ancestors, it's tapping into the unknown, our past lives. Then on August 20th, we're going to have a Mars Gemini transit. Mars is the planet that rules our drive, our passions, and Gemini thrives in high-paced 
situations. Now, we're going to have a lot of energy coming and going, and the pace of Mars and Gemini is going to be fast and furious. There's going to be a need for you to want to remove yourself from all boredom and all routine. You are going to be excited to explore. Your mind is going to be curious and versatile and running at all paces. Enjoy meeting these challenges head on and exciting opportunities are going to come to you to flirt and connect with others. And this is going to be through your home, your mother, your roots, your foundation. It's going to be amazing. Then on August 22nd, the sun that represents your soul, power, and authority is going to enter the earthy sign of Virgo. As the sun moves into the sign of Leo and enters Virgo, we have this transition of the sun from fun and play. Now turn your focus to more of work, career, and service to others. Virgo turns plans and dreams into reality. So focus this time on solving prom problems and completing your tasks. On August 24th, Uranus stations retrograde. Now Uranus highlights your originality. It brings resistance to your limitations. Retrograde Uranus sees the many opportunities in life and tries to move you in the right direction. Movement is associated with your innate fear that you must learn to accept so as not to interfere with your future decisions. Fear limits us in our daily decisions. Uranus is the planet that encourages you to try to understand your fear, to fight it, to overcome it. Fear limits you in everything that you look at. It brings a lot of problems because you don't have the courage to change the job, the relationship, to be honest with yourself or others. Uranus retrograde is going to have you turning your energy inward to find the strength to fight your fears. Uranus is not afraid to stand alone or to stand up. So this transit is going to remind you that sometimes it's better to stand out from others if you want to be more successful in life. To understand your own originality, to internalize and embrace this, and to overcome fear in being original and stand out from the crowd. This retrograde period is going to be an opportunity for you to reclaim your freedom, your originality, and to attract success. And then on August 25th, Mercury, which rules our intellect and memory, is going to be entering the sign of Libra. Now, Libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac, and it's associated with balance, beauty, and justice. Together, this transit's going to be bringing about friendly and diplomatic behavior and gets the conversation and the workflow moving so that you can make things happen. You can use this time to improve your contacts with others or personally or with your career. Mercury is going to help you make decisions fast, avoid bad decisions, and examine other people's opinions. And then on August 27th, we're going to have a new moon in the sign of Virgo and a sun square Mars. So let's start with new moon. New moons always bring fresh starts, clean slates, new beginnings, and an opportunity to plant seeds. A Virgo new moon is different in that you don't plant new seeds. Instead, you try to figure out what to do with what you've already harvested. It's about working to figure out how to use what you've been working on to create a different kind of new, a new beginning. This new moon is going to encourage you to be productive and to break free from anything that's weighing you down. Now, the second aspect is a sun square Mars. So if the sun represents your soul and Mars represents your animal instincts, the square gives you the ability to turn your setbacks into something productive by fighting back and winning, uh, finding a safe way to express your hot energy that can lead to great achievements, whether they're in business, relationships, or sports. Thank you for listening and watching this video. If you would like to receive updates as soon as they are released, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel below and make sure that you share with friends who you think could benefit from this information. To sign up for my newsletter, you can visit willowgracemystic.com or click the link below. I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below. I heard you. Thank you.